going on guys? Didwaf here, welcome back to some more Jurassic World. Now last time we left off, we continued working on this here roller coaster, and as you can see, we have this thing completely and utterly finished. I can't wait to show you guys this thing. It looks fantastic. Anyways, uh, real quick, I did uh, I did mention last episode like, hey, you guys want me to do the stairs instead of the instead of the regular blocks, and you guys said, yeah, yeah, it looks a lot better. So also, I got a comment saying that the Apple guy should have the red awning instead of the uh, like the green or whatever he had before. So there you go, he has the green awning now. Or the, uh, the red awning now, and it, it kind of fits around with this little apple there. I kind of, I kind of do want to trade a little bit of emeralds with them, just to see what his next trade is. Just so we can put up that little sign for his where in the world? Oh, there you go, a little bit of emeralds. Just so we can see what his next sign is going to be. What else he's going to be selling after those apples? Let's let's give him a few emeralds. Uh, there you go. And let's buy some uh, some apples from him. Oh, whoa. We bought way more. Holy, that he's glowing. He is glowing. What do you have next? Yeah, look at that. Whoa, did I, did I really just predict that? Okay, okay. Go, go to last episode. Go to last episode. No joke. I am really sure. I said he was going to trade wheat for emeralds. Did I not say that? Did I not? Say that he's trading wheat for emeralds. Really? I'm really sure. Whoa. We put the apple here as his first sale. And then whenever his next one's opened up, it'll be like, I don't know, 10 wheat for like an emerald. He'll, he'll have an emerald right here. And, you know, they'll, they'll say that he buys emeralds too. Whoa. <laughs> I I, that is so weird. Okay, anyways, uh, we can give him some wheat. Uh, I, I I guess we could give him some wheat if we want some emeralds, but we don't really need emeralds, right? Uh, right now we can just uh, what do we need to make a item frame again? I think yeah, leather and sticks. Let's just grab some of that, and I think we need like eight sticks. So we'll just make one of those real quick, and he's going to have his second item up for grabs. So uh, should it be an a wheat or an emerald? Because you you do get an emerald. From uh, selling him the wheat, I guess I'll have the wheat. It'll look a lot better with the wheat up there than the uh, than the emeralds, I suppose. But uh, yeah, let's just go put up this secondary sign. And uh, Nostradamus Waffle over here is going to be buying a lottery ticket booth. How lucky I am right now, gee. Anyways, uh, before I actually take a little test ride, let me just get on the roller coaster track itself and give you guys a little tour of what's uh, of what I did. So you know, this just goes straight over here as usual. And I decided why not make this go up a little bit because it, it has a little drop right here. Make it go up a little bit and then drop right back down. So you just get a nice little. So it's not so it's not so flat, you know. Just so a little bit more uh, more fun there and then I'll drop down a little bit more over here next to this little riverbed and look at that we have a little uh, little ankylosaurus right there look at him he's so tiny I think he's so tiny because uh, we're outside we've been hanging out over there a lot and uh, he's just he's just all the way over here he's he's been outside the render range he hasn't been growing so over here it just gets flat again and then over here it dips down and right here is the mother load of the drops uh it, it, it's, it's, a, it's either the mother load or it's a close second because there's another one up here you guys saw at the very beginning so this one just drops you off you land here you keep going and you know this is a lot straight you know just so you can get a nice little view of the entire jurassic world or jurassic park it's not jurassic world just yet but, uh, yeah, you know, it keeps going straight, and you guys can already tell what we have coming up here. So, uh, I, I strategically measured these out to be, like, uh, ten or so blocks in length, each one of these little spiral parts right here, just so I can use one singular redstone torch to light each and every side of that. Because, like, one redstone torch lights up, uh, like, ten or so of them in each direction. So, let's just step on a cactus. <laughs> Step on a cactus. Yes, there we go. Uh, it, it lights up like 10 or so of them, so it saves me redstone torches. I overmade them, by the way. 51 of them. Gee, I thought I'd need way more than that, but I guess not. But, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, no. God, we trampled our crops. After all that, we trampled our crops. Uh, let's just get back on there. Uh, I hope I don't have to step on a cactus again. Let's go uh, try and do it from here. Yep, there you go. All right, so we just uh, go all the way up here. It spirals around. I think it spirals around one full time. So, yeah, 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 one full time. 
and then here, and then it goes all the way over here. Uh, I thought I had this measured out correctly, but I guess not. So I had to go to the left a little bit, and then I decide why not make it go up even higher, and then it drops down. And this is where it's going to finish. It's going to take you straight to the very beginning. So there you go. Let's get in the mine cart. Let's actually take this thing for a full test ride. Is that Nugget right there? Or is that, uh, that's got to be Nugget because he doesn't have the fancy creeper hat. Anyways. We're taking the very first official full ride of the entire- I, I haven't even tested this before recording, so there must be something. There, there, there's bound to be something that we're going to run into that's going <laughs> to just get in the way of this roller coaster working flawlessly, I bet. There is just going to be something, right? Uh, I haven't worked on the aquariums just yet. You know, you guys have already seen this from last episode, you know, going through the aquariums and whatnot. Haven't worked on the aquariums just yet. Uh, I've been too busy with the... Oh, well, that was some disgusting lag. I've uh, been too busy with the roller coaster as well as, uh, you know, setting up the market thing over there. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with how the roller coaster has turned out thus far. It seems really fantastic. We're getting a really good view of the T-Rex the from here. Very nice stuff. And we're going to go over here to the herbivore area. Man, my low, my world's loading in, like, really slowly today. I don't know why. Hmm. Well, anyways, uh, ooh, man, yeah, we're getting a whole... We're getting a ton of la- I think the reason why it's doing this is because of our Brachiosaurus over there. It always starts to do a little bit of frame rate lag, like right there. And I'm pretty sure it's because of the Brachiosaurus, like how huge they are. And because we have two of them, I'm really sure that's, uh, I, I'm, I'm really sure that's the cause of the lag. So there's one right there, there's another one right there. I don't know why the chunks are loading in so slowly, but uh, there you go. We can see the gigantic ramp all the way up there and loading in. We're going to be falling from that thing here in a second, so s just hold on tight. We're about to fall off. And, oh, look at this, we're floating, we're falling, free falling, and we landed on the track. Perfect, perfect stuff. All right, this is fantastic so far. So, uh, of course, this is going to be a straight, narrow path uh, all the way over to that spiral, which still, I don't know why, it's like taking a million years to load in. Okay, so we're getting away from the Brachiosaurus now. So I guess it's just uh, doing a lot of disgusting love. Oh, whoa. Compensation speeding up all over the place. Jeez. All right. Well, here's the best part, in my opinion. The spiral staircase all the way up to the very end. And, uh, yeah, let's just ride this thing all the way up to the top. Now, I'm really surprised this thing's uh, working just flawlessly so far. And I don't think we ran into any bugs there other than the other than the lag. But look at this fall. This is insane fall. And we... Oh, look at that. Oh, I measured it out perfectly. Fantastic. Oh, awesome. Wow, that was insane! Wow, what did you guys think of that roller coaster? I thought it was like probably the best roller coaster in the universe. Gee, well, at least for like vanilla Minecraft, at least. I'm pretty sure you could do some really epic stuff with some, uh, some like roller coaster mods, but you know what? We haven't even named this roller coaster. Now it's actually finished. You guys should leave a comment down below. What should we name that? You guys have seen the entire thing, all the all the like spirals, the ups and downs, all the all the flying through air stuff. I'm pretty sure you guys can come up with something really epic for this roller coaster. Who is this? That Nugget? What are you? Oh, oh you want to ride the roller coaster? Oh, ho, 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 ho. this is going to be epic. Come on, Nugget. Okay, okay. I think I'm about to push him in the minecart. I'm about to push him in the. No, no, give me the minecart back. Oh. Okay, we need to place this thing back down. Come on, Nugget. Get in the minecart. Oh, he's in the minecart. He is in the minecart. Oh. Okay, let's give him a nice little boost and press the button. Come on, Nugget. You're going to be the first animal to ride the... Oh, man, he's riding the roller coaster. Look at that thing. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's flapping his wings. He's having so much fun. Oh, he's going to go flying through the air here in a bit. Oh, look at this. He's going to go flying through the... Oh, he gets caught too. Nice. Man, this looks insane. Look at that. All right. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's going to go up and down. He's probably going to puke right here. Look at this. Look at this. And he's going to go through the aquarium. Oh, let's just watch him go through the aquarium. Oh, man. This is, a, this is such a cool little view. Oh, man. Man, I'm really loving this roller coaster. It's fantastic. Man, those vines are getting really, really long. Oh, okay, okay. Let's speed over here because he's going to go through the T-Rex area. And we're going to miss him. Oh, there he is right there. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> Man, that's insane. I love it. Wow. All right, let's let's keep going on, on over here. We're probably going to get that uh, Brachiosaurus lag. But man, look at him speed down this ramp over here. He's going to come over here. Oh, man, the giant ramp over here. The giant ramp of doom. I can't wait to see him go off that thing. Okay. Oh, let's speed on over there. Oh, 
Oh, man, I can't. Where is he? Oh, he's whoa. Where is he? Oh, oh there he is right there. Oh, okay. He hasn't gone on it just yet. Oh, oh, and there he goes. He is going up. He is going up. He's going up. He's going up. And he's about to reach to the top. Oh, we're getting some Brachiosaurus lag right now. Oh, he's flying through the air. He's full. Whoa. Whoa, man. That was some disgusting lag right there. Man. Okay, now, now he's going over here. You know, it's nice, flat, straight. Nothing fancy going on. There he goes. <laughs> Lena, Lena flapping his wings. Oh, man. Oh, he's going to go up the spiral now. He's going to go. Oh, man. He's going to have the time of his life here in a second. Oh, oh let's get on the track. Look. Go on. Let's get on the track. We don't want to miss him. We don't want to miss him. He's over there flapping his wings at a million miles an hour. Oh, man. He's going to go up the spiral now. Oh, oh, let's go over here. Let's anticipate his landing. Oh, where's he at on here? Where's he at? I don't know where he is. Is he at the top yet? Oh, oh, he's already flying through the air. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, and he lands it. He lands it. Insane. Insane, man. That was incredible. Man, it, it looks even more fun just watching it, man. I, okay, there we go. I wanted to be a little bit careful there. Didn't want to accidentally, you know, hit him and, you know, make the T-Rexes freak out. God, that was so cool. Anyways, leave a comment down below for the roller coaster name. I want to see what you guys come up with. If you guys see a really cool roller coaster name, feel free to give it a thumbs up, too. But anyways, we do have some more projects I do want to do. So, uh, hmm, you know what I did mention? What if we put a, uh, a T-Rex, or not, not a T-Rex, but what if we put like a small roller coaster inside the, uh, the herbivore area? What if we did that? That'd be pretty cool, right? Uh, is there a nice flat area? Oh, there's a villager. <laughs> a villager stuck in a hole right there. Yeah, here's a nice little flat area. Two villagers going for a swim right there. Brachiosaurus is sitting. That's good. That's good. Yeah, like right here isn't that bad of a spot for a little roller coaster, right? Get rid of a little bit of this dirt, you know, flatten it out a little bit. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Hmm. It don't have to be big either. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, let's, let's do this. Let's make it a small little platform right here. Small, small, small. Don't have to be big. And, uh, you know what? You know what? Let's, yeah, let's do this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this is going to be epic. Hopefully I have enough rail blocks for this, though. Hmm. All right, well, let's do this. And you're just going to be regular blocks. And you know what? Yeah, let's make this one go up. Let's make this one go up a little bit. Like so. Don't want to make it go up too much. And then it's going to turn around. And then, uh, hmm. One, two, three. Yeah, about right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, it's going to go down. All right, this is going to be epic. Look at this. Uh, it is, it's just going to be a little loop-de-loop -loop that goes up and down and up and down. I think that's what I got in mind here. So let's just make this thing go right back up, just like it is on the other side. And then we can uh, we can push a little dinosaur into a minecart and make him ride around in circles per pretty much ever. <laughs> He's going to be stuck riding in circles for his whole entire life. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, we're out of wood already. All right, let's, get, uh, let's salvage the rest of this wood that's just floating here that we're not going to be using anyways. And let's just loop that around like so. I uh, need to grab that. Need to grab some of the extra wood here. There we go. And hopefully this is enough wood, right? Uh, there you go. And there you go. Perfect. Perfect. <gasps> All right, man. We're going to be throwing a dinosaur in here. This is going to be absolutely insane. Okay, so these need to be lit up. Uh, I guess I could just light them, light them up like this. Uh, I guess I'll have them lit up all the time. I don't want to put a button on them, though. So let's uh, let's make this one go up like this. And turn around like so. All right. And then we'll go down like that. All right, then we're going to throw a dinosaur in here. And they're going to go all around this roller coaster for their whole entire life. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Then we can put up like a, like a little fence just to make sure no other dinosaurs come over here and interrupt their little playtime. So here we go. And the whole thing is nice and lit up now. Nice. Do we have an, uh, oh, we have one fence. Hmm. We have nowhere near enough, uh, I guess. Uh, if we can find a, yeah, let's just go back real quick. So let's do a little bit of, uh, can I put them like this? Oh, I can't. Okay. Put it on top of the torch. There we go. And do a little bit of this. Like so. And is that, is that how it is? Oh, oh, oh. Go around like so. Put a thing like that. And make it come around on this side as well. There we go. There we go. That's that's looking more like it. All right. So there's that. And it looks like we're just missing like one, one fence. Hmm. Maybe I can get rid of this. Maybe. 
And I guess maybe get rid of this. And yeah, it looks like nothing can get up there anyways. And then we can just put them like this. All right. So yeah, it looks like nothing's going to get in there anyways. So I think we are absolutely set. We just need to find a dinosaur to put inside there. And a minecart. Hmm. You know what? Do we have any iron? No, we don't have any iron on us. Huh. You know what? Let's, let's go get the minecart that's over here. Uh, you know what? Eh, let's, let's go craft one real quick. Oh, hey, there's a nugget right there. He's going to go tell his father, tell his mother, that he just rode the most epic roller coaster in the universe. <laughs> there you go. Made a little minecart. And who should we have ride this thing? Maybe a Hypsilophodon? Maybe a, a Lip Tip to Yum? Maybe even a little mammoth? Hmm. Oh, Hypno? Oh, Hypno, do you want to go ro Oh, I have a feeling Hypno wants to come ride, right? Uh, are you sitting down? I don't think he's, he has a sitting enemy. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's not sitting down. Uh, do you like apples? I have, I have a ton, a ton of apples. Surely you want to fire. Oh, follow, follow? No? Uh, I guess I'll go grab a lead real quick. I guess Hypno would make a good candidate, right? Like, he's not too big, he's not too small. Let's put a lead around him. And you're going to hippity hop, can't stop all the way over here, Hypno. You're going to be having some fun for literally the rest of your life. <laughs> all right, get over here. Uh, and I guess I can just get rid of this here there you go uh what happened to the lead i guess the lead broke yeah lead broke okay come over here hypno all right let's get our minecart out let's get them inside the minecart and uh hopefully i don't push the minecart before he gets in come on oh there he is oh there he goes there he goes right there <laughs> look at him look at him go look at him go right there man that looks so stupid Literally, he's hippity hop can't stop it all around in the minecart. Look at that! Look at that! Jeez! Wait, where is my lead at? Where'd it go? It broke off. Where'd it go? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I just picked it up. Okay, nice. Oh, he's not hopping around anymore. He's just chilling out now. <laughs> Man! Okay, well, look at that. Looks like Hypno. Whoa, whoa. What just happened right there? Whoa, I just fell underwater. <laughs> Man, look at that. Hypno's having the time of his life now. He's, he's going to be riding around this roller coaster for the rest of his life. All right, so now we have a dinosaur literally riding a roller coaster right now. I think that's pretty much everything in the universe that we have done. Well, you know what we should do? We put off making the jetpacks, uh, the Tesserex, all that stuff. We need to go to the end. We definitely need to go to the end. And uh, the reason why is because if we go to the end, we'll get a bunch of ender pearls, and we need to go put them into like a fluid transposer or like a like a magma crucible or something, and that will go. There's a skelly skelly down there. Oh, oh I don't want to go down to the nether just yet, but we want to get a bunch of ender pearls. I have enders, and then thus unlock the portal to the end. But we also need to go get some blaze rods. But there's a spooky skeleton down there. And I don't want to mess with him, because he's probably going to lag out the game if he even hits me with anything, or if I even hit him. So I don't know what if, if I if I want to do anything right now. Hmm. I guess, uh, eh, yeah, that skelly's still down there. Whoa, as if by magic, that skeleton is gone. All right, so I guess we can just prepare to go to the nether real quick. And then uh, I guess we can go to buy Dr. Dino's thing, because we saw a lot of blazes around that general area a long time ago. I guess we can check up on his lab maybe see what's see what's left there i doubt there's anything like useful left right there's 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 got to be like nothing there uh, why'd i put rails inside there <laughs> that makes no sense why would i put i don't even know where i'd put rails i guess inside there i guess there's some apples as well hmm redstone torches i guess we can put that inside there but uh, i suppose oh what's this villager doing in here how do you even get in here okay whatever okay let's just go downstairs and let's go through the nether portal and I suppose head to Dr. Dino's old uh, nether lab before he, you know, unfortunately passed away thanks to, you know, Choppy, the Team Rex. So I guess I'm going ahead to, uh, to Dr. Dino's lab real quick and I will see you guys here in a bit. Alright, I forgot that in the nether is a very bad idea to have a, uh, a power suit, so... I don't know how this is going to go whenever it comes to fighting those blazes. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, I probably should have thought about that, like, uh, way before it came out here. Yes, I literally have no, no, like, replacement set of armor, and we are about to overheat right now. We do have liquid cooling, though. So, oh, it's going down. No, 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 it's, oh, oh no, it's going up. Okay, so there's a blaze right there. Hopefully, he'll drop enough blaze rods for us to not have to come back here for quite a while. Oh, he dropped. What blaze sulfur? Whoa, we don't need that garbage. Ooh, and speaking of, whoa, we're all right here. Okay, so 
Yeah, Dr. Diner's not here at all. He still has these little, like, little cultivator things. I don't know what you got red, green, and blue for. Is there anything inside of them? No, uh, not even water's inside of them. Anything inside of the... No, nothing inside of there. And just 13 fossils, 5 amber, a rare source DNA, Carnotaurus, and Velociraptor, and T-Rex. A bunch of meat, too. You know what? I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take all that stuff. Oh, whoa, we're overheating. Oh, we're already overheating. This is not good. Okay, so we're, we, we have liquid cooling, thankfully, but we do not have anything to last us. All the way to fighting a bunch of blazes and stuff. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think there's a blaze spawner all the way over there. So what we need to do is try and make it all the way over there. And I know we're burning. I know we're burning. We have liquid cooling, but we will be able to survive. Oh, okay. We're at the blaze spawner right now. Hopefully we won't burn up. So, okay. So I guess I'll just sit here and wait for the blazes to spawn. And I guess I'll try and murder them because we can murder them real easily with this manling cleaver. But right now I am not seeing anything. There is a like blitz down there or something. Looking at the minimap, there is something here. Oh, there we go. Blaze right there. Instant murder. Look at that. We decapitated it too. Thanks for the, thanks to the thing. What is this for? Blaze head applicable up to obsidian? I don't even know. What do you even use that for? Uh, yeah, I don't even know what you use that for. Hmm. I guess I'll just sit here and wait for blazes to spawn and try and murder them without, without overheating too. Oh, well, hopefully these blazes drop their blaze rods. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. A blaze spawn right there. Oh, whoa. We got another blaze rod right there. Nice. Okay. So I think we have enough blaze rods. We have seven of them right now, which is pretty good. Let's, let's check up on our armor. Are we still about to over? Oh, yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. I guess we have to be really, really careful if we want to come out here. So what is down here? There's a mob on the minimap right now that looks really peculiar. I don't know what it is. Is that a is that a weird skin for the pigment? I don't know. There is another blaze over here. I definitely see this blaze. Yeah, it's not the pigment skin. That's totally not the pigment skin. But uh, ooh, amber ore, nether amber ore. Eh, is that what is that for? Oh, that's just nether ores. Okay, whatever. Uh, there's a blaze around here somewhere. I don't know where he is. Now, I think this hallway is where we need to... Oh, oh, of course. There are wither skeletons, a blaze, and a pigment over there. Okay, I, I can live with the pigment. I can definitely live with the pigment. Okay, but well, we need to get rid of these wither skeletons. We're going to die. We're going to die. That's it. We're dead. That's it. We are dead. We are not going to survive this. We all... Oh, yep, yep, yep. We're dead. <laughs> Okay, what I think I'm going to do now is uh, try and head back using regular old diamond armor and uh, let's grab all this stuff. Put all this stuff on and let's go back and let's try and retrieve all of our items. Okay, we are back. We are here at our death point. I don't know. I think, yeah, okay, we still have some wither skeletons. We still have that pigment. Where is that blaze at? Where is that pesky? Okay, looks like we have maybe just one wither skeleton. Looks like the other ones fell off the bridge. Okay. Sorry, that's going to make it a million times easier to deal with these guys. We just have to kill one of them, but he is pretty heavily armored. What is that? Uh, aluminum armor or maybe even tin? Maybe even iron? Ooh, whoa, he dropped some pretty good snuff right there. Wow, really impressive. All right, let's grab all of our stuff and let's just get out of here. Okay, let's uh, try and get rid of our dead. Ooh, that's, yeah, that's steel armor he had right there. Really good stuff. Okay, so uh, where is our mandolin? Blah, 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 there we go. Uh, what about our power armor? How's that going for right now? Oh, never mind. I'm not right now. Oh, we do have a, uh, a necrotic bone. <gasps> we can use that to get ourselves a little bit of extra health. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have a lot of those extra heart containers and stuff. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, there's that. Yeah, we're about to overheat, but you know what? I think it might be worth it for all the extra protection and stuff that we have right now. There we go. Instant murder. No problem whatsoever. And uh, what is this stuff? Oh, cooked snail. Okay. I don't know why I have that in my inventory. I think I had my little pouch thing, right? Uh, I need to put that thing back. There we go. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to do now is take off my armor, put on the diamond armor, and head back to the surface. So I will see you guys here in a bit. All right. We're back here at the surface world. Oh, it feels good to be here back at the surface. Let's put all of our stuff back on, all of our armor, and we are slowly cooling off too. So that's fantastic. All right. Uh, we probably want to refill our little liquid cooling tanks. So let's just hang out in some water real quick while we cool down and fill up our tank at the very same time. So how do we make the, uh, where is the heart container? I'm pretty sure, yeah, we have two of them right now, or uh, miniature red hearts. Uh, recipe, I think you need to make like tin canister or something, right? Uh, usage is uh, tin canister, a jeweled apple, and an empty canister. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, just a little bit of aluminum, which we have, no problem whatsoever. Uh, how much aluminum though? Uh, tin 
can you make it out of something other than, uh... Because I saw you can make it out of bone and tin. Okay, so... You know what? Let's make it out of the bone and tin. Because we already have a lot of tin here. Uh, there it is right there. And we have some bones. So, uh, it's not going to be too expensive, right? So, let's make the thing out of tin. Put the bone in the middle. Uh, does it just need to be... The, oh, there we go. Tin canister. The necrotic bone. And the miniature red heart. This is going to get us an extra half heart on our health bar, I believe. So, I think what we need to do next is get a... How do we make a jeweled apple? Is it a diamond block? Or is it diamonds around the thing? Let's let's check. Usages for this uh, recipe for the jewel. Okay, it is just diamonds. Okay, that's fantastic. That, that makes it a million times cheaper. So, we just need only four diamonds and a singular apple, which we have tons of, that we bought from our villager friend who now uh, buys wheat from you. And we can make the, let's make the jeweled apple over here at this crafting station. There we go. And put our apple inside there. And now we have the jeweled apple. And we put that in here. And that's going to get us the red heart canister. So if we can put that thing, uh, where is it? Over here. And we can stack those up to like 10, I think. Either 8 or 10 or something like that. And uh, that's going to get us that extra half heart down there. You can see it's, uh, it's like a yellowish thing down there. You can see that uh, down there at the very bottom. Is it? Is it a half heart? Is it a full heart? I guess it's a full heart. Hmm, that's really good. Uh, oh yeah, because one uh, one full row is ten, and uh, if you get ten of them, that like doubles your health, and then you can get even more of them by using yellow heart canisters. Now I don't think you can use the green ones just yet. Uh, heart can I don't think you can make the green ones just yet. Yeah, yeah. There's no uh, there's no crafting recipe just yet for these things, but we are running out of room for our yeah. You have another chest right here for our food chest, so uh, now we have all this food that we just straight up stole from Dr. Dino. I guess I'll just throw it inside there. Stone sword from the things, eh, no, not a big deal. This steel chest plate and stuff, though, uh, can we throw that in any, can we throw it inside the, let's, let's, let's try and throw it inside the smeltery. I know, I know every time I get something that I'm not going to use, I can throw it inside the smeltery and probably get stuff, but yeah, it looks like we can't get anything from the, the steel stuff there. Ah, oh, man. The only thing is that the steel armor is like probably the, the second best armor in the game. And we can't even use it because we already have stuff way better than it. All right. Well, let's put up all of our extra food for now. Uh, let's keep the baked potatoes. Still need all these blaze heads. I, I still don't know what you use them for. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. We have one ender pearl. So we can use that to find the end. And, or the end portal, at least. Uh, we need to break down these blaze rods into blaze powder and make an eye of ender from it. So uh, I think, it, yep, two blaze powder per thing. And there's an eye of ender right there. Let's see if we have any uh, nearby for we're all like on top of one. Okay, looks like over there. Hmm, that's a pretty good direction. Okay, so we don't want to use this Eye of Ender 2 too much because there is a chance of us never getting this. Like, there is a chance of the Eye of Ender not dropping or like glitching or something like that. I know there's like a chance of that happening. So we want to be pretty conservative when it comes to using the Eye of Ender. But for right now, we don't even have enough Ender Pearls or uh, Eye of Enders to unlock the... Oh man, I was just about to ride Sky Rewards right there. <gasps> oh, rest in peace. But I guess we don't really need to ride them, right? We don't really need, uh, I'm like, we are really fast right now. We can jump around all over the place, no problem. We can walk up one blocks, no problem. And you know what? I guess we just go Enderman hunting right now. So I guess what I'm going to do now is look on the mini map, see if I can find an Enderman, like the one I can see is clearly over here, right? I thought I saw an Enderman over here, underground. Hmm, I thought, okay. I think there's a way for me to turn off <laughs> the, uh, let's see, radar, hats, yeah, show hel helmets, yeah, we can turn that off, just so all the, wait a second, that's show player helmets, uh, radar, show mob helmets, there we go, turn that off, and, uh, where is this Enderman, I'm really sure I saw an Enderman right there, hmm, where'd he go, oh, oh, I see him, he's all the way over here, I hope that's not too close to our base, though, to where if I try and murder him, uh, where is he at, wow, everyone just got super dark right there, it's got to be like underground over here somewhere. Hopefully this is nice and far away enough to where I could just murder him no problem and not have the T-Rexes freak out about it. So let's go underground real quick. Hopefully we can find him. There's a pretty good amount of copper right there. Too bad we need the copper for a Blightfall series and not for this. God, man, I just cannot find any copper in that series. Man, where's that Enderman at? He was literally here like two seconds ago. You guys totally saw it. Hmm, is he over here? 
I don't think that's him on the... I don't think that's him, those two black squares up there. Oh, whoa, water. Just random water out of nowhere. Hmm. Yeah, I am not seeing this Enderman. I think I'm on an Enderman hunt on my... Ooh, wow, we found a really big cave. Wow. Wow, this is really impressive. It turns out those are just uh, zombies down there. Whoa, this is a really, really big cave. Gee. Man, this is insane. Anyways, I think I'm going to go Enderman hunting on my... Oh, it's a ravine. Okay. I think I'm going to go Enderman hunting on my own. And uh, hopefully we can get a pretty good amount of Ender Pearls. And we can turn them into Eye of Enders. And then I think I'll get like eight of them or so. Maybe ten. Uh, and then hopefully we'll have enough to unlock the end portal. So I think I'm going to hunt some Enderman. And I'll see you guys here in a bit. Alright guys. Shh. There is an Enderman around the corner. This is going to be hopefully our last Enderman. Hopefully our last Enderman. Because I think I have like nine ender pearls right now and i've been going all around the map trying to murder these endermen oh there we go oh yes a pearl oh man half the endermen don't even drop oh whoa not nine this is our tenth oh fantastic okay so we have a really really nice round number uh just in case we lose any uh eye of enders while trying to find the end portal and because it takes like uh i don't i don't even remember how many how many things you need to actually unlock the end portal itself so where in the world did i come from this is really confusing because there was this gravel pit that is like right here that I got really stuck inside. Oh, here we go. And here's a cave and here's the- Oh, this is where I dug down. Okay. Man, that is such a maze. Anyways, let's head home and let's go- Oh wait, we have the- Yeah, we have the blaze rods already. You know what? Hmm. Hmm. Should we- I don't know if I'm prepared to even go to the end though. Are we prepared? Oh, whoa, that's a, oh, that's a hole that whenever we went to go get those meteors. Are we prepared, though? I feel like at least a bow. We need at least a bow. And we don't have that charged bow from thermal expansion that we had in End of Earth, so it's not going to be a million times easier. So let's, let's look at our bows. What, what kind of bows can we make? Uh, let's see. Uh, anything really good? Genetic bow? <laughs> what is that? Uh, steel reinforced, blah, blah, Futura block. Ooh, bookshelf. Crossbow. Not seeing it. Oh, whoa. What is this? Electric bow? Hmm. Fire mode off. Electric bow. I don't know. Should I make it? It seems decently cheap. It just needs the enriched allies, which we have tons of. And string. I kind of want to make it. Uh, yeah, we have, we have tons. We don't need to worry about that. Uh, what do we need? Uh, gold, redstone, and string, I guess, right? So let's get some gold. There you go. Redstone and string. There you go. Let's make this bow. So let's see. We need to make this thing. And there we go. And we need to make this bow like so. Uh, what are we missing? We just need that. We need the string like that. And that. Yeah, there we go. There's the electric bow. Okay, so we have the electric bow. Uh, where do we charge this thing? Uh, are we? Do we charge it with our... Can we charge it with our suit? It looks like it has a little bit of energy right now. 225. Yeah, 255. Okay. So it looks like we need a... Oh, whoa. Yeah, it looks like it's getting charged from our, uh, from our suit, right? Yeah, it looks like it's getting some energy, no problem. Do we have any arrows that we can use? I don't even know if it uses regular arrows. Maybe it uses something else. Uh, no one. Yeah, it seems like it uses... Hmm. This boat seems not that bad. I really do like it. Yeah, not bad at all. Wow, okay. So what is the advantage of this? Fire mode is off. I don't know how you turn it on, though. Uh, is it V? Because I know it was V for that really special mode on the, uh, the End of Earth bow that we had. Hmm. Alright, I am not a million percent sure how to get this thing into fire mode, but I did, uh, find out that fire mode is just, uh, it just adds, like, fire aspect or, like, flame to your, uh, to the bow and, like, gives it flaming arrows and whatnot, but I guess that's a really cool little feature that we're missing out on, but eh, it's not going to be the biggest feature in the universe when it comes to fighting the Ender Dragon, I guess, when it comes to fighting the Ender Dragon. We need some arrows, so I don't know why I just left with literally no arrows. Let's go back, let's go pick up some arrows. All right, well, let's, let's, let's try and make some arrows real quick. They're super cheap to make. Just a little bit of flint, some sticks, and some feathers. How much are we going to get from that? 36. That's nothing. <laughs> really just 36 arrows? Hopefully we don't need more than that. Hmm. I'm like, we do. if we do get a pretty good amount of hits down with our amazing manly cleaver, hopefully 
we'll be able to kill the dragon really easily, but I'm not, I'm not getting too, too hopeful. And uh, we have 29 baked potato. You know what? Let, let's go grab a little bit more food just, just to be safe. And let's grab an entire, you know, there's some free ass steak and cook portrait. Yeah, let's take those. Oh, that's going to be an absolute ton of food. All right, so we did convert the rest of these ender pearls into eye of enders. So, uh, yeah, eight of them. Yeah, should be able to get them out. So let's keep going this direction. And I guess every now and then we could just right click use the ender or the eye of ender. Hopefully it's not in the middle of the ocean. Oh, I think uh, I think one time I had. Uh, an ender portal in the middle of the ocean and it was absolutely horrible it was so bad it was so dumb hello there little sheep how you doing all right let, let's try it again right here and okay still going that way oh is he going to drop the eye of ender please okay oh he dropped the eye of ender all right fantastic <laughs> let's keep going this way hopefully we will find the end portal okay i kid you guys not i just paused the recording to find this end portal on my own and uh did we just pick it up right there and I just play. I just threw it. I was facing this way. I threw it, and it went back this way. So I'm really sure it's got to be in this general area. I think I just picked it up. I'm not 100% sure. I think we did. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, let's go down. Let's go, let's dig down right here, and hopefully we find the end portal, or at least the stronghold. Because if we find the stronghold, it's going to be really. It's going to be decently easy to find the uh, the end portal. I know I've had trouble in the past finding the actual end portal within the stronghold. I I even had the end portal like hiding behind a wall. There's never even an entrance to the end portal itself. It was just hiding behind the wall, and I am not having any luck right now. Let, let, let's see if we can get the mini map to cheat us this underground thing. Let's keep going this way. Hopefully, it will give us the outline of the. Ooh, this is really dark. I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, is that it? Oh, here it is. Oh, Miles. It was literally right in front of me. Oh, skeleton right there. Let's try and murder him. Oh, let's try and murder him. Oh, okay, he's dead. Okay, he is dead. Is this it right here? There's lava. That's not good. Okay, there's a chest with bread and an apple. Oh, haunted library. We have a haunted spooky library right here. I guess we can find out what loot's inside of here. Uh, I don't know where to look, though. I know there. Yep, yep chests on top of the bookshelves oh ooh, wow these flame one lure two wow is that is that really all what these are really flame one lure two guess the only thing is the flame right everything else is pure unadulterated garbage hmm i'm not seeing anything else here worth uh, worth my time i guess we might as well go back down and try and continue the stronghold adventuring that we have going on here hopefully we can find the actual end portal here in a bit uh, I know you can just look in the minimap to find the end portal, but it is it's kind of tough. I don't I don't see it. Uh, yeah, I don't see the end portal. Hmm. Yeah, I don't actually. Maybe it's hiding somewhere. Yeah, if we go back here, right, and then through here. Oh man, this is totally cheating. But I don't even care. Let's go through this. There's a wall right here that digs, or maybe it's above us, right? Is it a bo- Oh, yeah, it looks like Noah's abandoned mine. That's an abandoned- That's gotta be an abandoned- That's an abandoned mine, isn't it? No, that's another, uh, that's the second layer to the- To the library. Hmm. Now, where in the world- Oh, ho, 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 there we go. I see the end portal now. It is all the way over there. How are we gonna get over there? We need to get all- It's all the way over there. So we need to go this way. And we have to go that way, so I'm going to dig all the way to the end portal, and I will see you guys here in a second. Alright guys, so I found- Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, I'm getting sniped. I am getting sniped, there are spitters here. I think this is where it is, like right around here. Yeah, like right here, we have to go through this hallway, and it's right here. Yep, 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 there we go, there's a silverfish. There's the silver system, break the spawner, break the silver system. Fish spawner. Okay, hopefully we have enough ender pearls. Or uh, I have enders. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, ooh, maybe not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we need two more. Oh, <gasps> yes, we have enough. We have enough. We have enough ender pearls. Oh, mid. Are you kidding me? I put up the blaze rods. I put up the blaze rods. Wow, that's so stupid of me. Man, we are too short. Are you kidding me? I guess just set a waypoint here. Uh, set a waypoint, new waypoint, end portal, and let's, I guess we can keep that pink, hot pink, and uh, here's the end portal right here, but we're literally missing two things, 
to uh, to I have Enders right there. I guess I'm just gonna have to go back home, and uh, I guess we'll just come back. But look at look at how gigantic this uh, the stronghold is. I'm really sure there's this has got to be like multiple strongholds, right? That's really, really big. I've never seen a stronghold this big, right? Well, anyways, I think this was a pretty successful episode. We found the end portal. We uh, we got that roller coaster nights and done. And I think next episode, starting out with the end, is going to be really, really epic. So what I think I'm going to do between this episode and next episode is go home, get the blaze rods, get the blaze powder, and make the last two Eye of Enders. Then we can go through the end portal, defeat the dragon, get all the ender pearls that we will need for all the tesseracts and all that stuff that we'll need for the jetpacks and i will see you guys then that's going to be an absolute insane next episode or two so stay tuned and thank you guys all very much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below and if you guys want more of these awesome videos be sure to hit that subscribe button i'll put my latest videos on a youtube homepage as soon as they come out so oh well i'm breaking those blocks like instantly uh, i'll put my latest videos on a youtube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode but until then thank you guys all for watching and I will see you guys here next time with some more Jurassic World where we are going to the end. We're going to be getting unlimited Ender Pearls and of course fighting and hopefully defeating the Ender Dragon. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys here next time. Oh bye there.